In order to protect the ancient Chinese from invading Mongolians, an elaborate barrier thousands of miles long was constructed. Beneath the brick we see today lie the remains of an earlier earthen wall. Layers of compacted soil created a rock-hard barricade. Thin reed mats separated the layers for stability and drainage. These multi-layered earth walls rose up nearly 20 feet tall. Great Wall explorer Richard Fairbrother is in China's western desert. He's searching for secrets of the earliest Great Wall, which wasn't made of bricks, but out of soil. It's amazing to think about the number of people involved and the amount of labor it took to build something like this. To investigate how the walls have stood up to these harsh desert winds, Richard is going to reconstruct part of the wall. The finished structure is known as a rammed earth wall. You build these walls by layers of soil and then layers of these reeds and you put them on top there and then spread them around. One other advantage of these reeds is that they provide the drainage mechanism for the wall. So the rain comes down through the soil and then is passed out by the, the structure of these reeds. So how are parts of the wall, over 2,000 years old, still standing? Lab tests reveal that the desert soil known as less has a special property thanks in part to the crushed shells of long dead snails. Less is rich in calcium carbonate and when that's exposed to water, it gives the wall or the soil a self-cementing characteristic. The ancient builders unknowingly made use of this clever chemistry to build a wall that stood for millennia. The purpose of the ramming is to compress the lurse together and give it that tremendous strength that these rammed earth walls are known for. If you had to do it all day long in the blazing desert sun, I think you'd be pretty knackered by the end. <laughs> 